Now, um, okay, so here we, we're gonna consider an object on an incline uh, where friction is present. So we got an incline. Um, the angle is theta. So there's our object. Um, and it has a, um, a coefficient of kinetic friction. And remember our frictional force is that coefficient times the normal, where our normal um, always acts perpendicular to the surface. Um, and will be equal to our projected mass force. And it actually wants us to um, use this as our positive x direction. And then solve for a. So <clears throat> our, as the, we're assuming it's sliding down, so our frictional force will act this way. And so we just need the components of our, um, of our gravitational forces, but in the appropriate directions. So if we look at this triangle here, um, I'm gonna put it here actually. So we've got this. Okay, and so that is our M G, where G is our gravitational acceleration, and M is the mass of our object, um, then this is going to be our theta, which makes this Mg cos theta, and this Mg sine theta. You can kind of see it because um, if you flip it up, and, and move it over, it's going to be uh, an identical triangle to the one here. Okay, so, um, so this, right, is our mg cos theta, and this is our mg sine theta. So put a proper direction on here. Right, so this acts in the negative y direction. Um, and it's the only force acting in our negative y direction, uh, taking the incline as our positive x. Um, so that means that in our fy direction, we have um, our normal minus mg cos theta equals zero as it's not moving up or down. So our normal force is equal to mg cos theta. All right, um, so that solves for our normal. And now in the x direction, taking um, down the slope is positive, mg sine theta is our uh, gravitational force, and then we're gonna subtract our friction, and it equals ma. So there's our acceleration. Placing in uh, our values for our frictional force, that we've solved for. So mg sine theta minus uh, our kinetic coefficient of friction times our normal, which is mg cos theta, is equal to ma. Um, we can remove m from several places. And we can also pull uh, g out of this expression. And I'm just gonna swap which side of the equation A is on just because we need to solve for A. So our A is G sine theta minus mu K cos theta. And so <clears throat> uh, there's our expression for the acceleration of the object. Notice it doesn't depend on mass at all. It purely just depends on the coefficient of friction and the angle of, of the incline. And that's it. Okay, uh, let's look at the solution here. Uh, body of mass m, 
the weight of the body vertically downwards, the normal perpendicular to the plane, uh, force of friction upwards. Um, so we can get mg cos theta and mg sine theta. Um, okay, that's not a complete solution, so we can easily get our, our acceleration by just considering our forces. So this solution is uh, not complete. Um, it does describe some of the stuff I did, but it, it doesn't in any way solve the question. So I'm just gonna say that's incorrect.